hi guys welcome to this update video i trust and hope you're doing really great today so we're going to quickly talk about what is taking place across the north atlantic basin so we can see the infrared weather satellite here and that cluster of showers and thunderstorms is in association with invest 95 l so that is a disturbance propagating generally westward but it is eventually expected to make a curve as it nears the caribbean we've been seeing a lot of that this hurricane season and unfortunately it is expected once more so we're going to talk about that later on we'll also talk about another disturbance that's in the west caribbean given a low chance of development so let's go into it okay here we go we are looking at the uh disturbance here 95l at a closer view on satellite so it is not the most organized system right now but it is certainly producing some uh, rainfall and thunderstorms and of course as time goes by it is expected to develop and it has a high chance of doing so likely by the middle of the week it may become a depression and subsequently a named storm and uh we're going to talk about it a bit more in a moment but looking to the caribbean now we can see that there has been quite a bit going on this evening lots of showers and thunderstorms across parts of the greater and lesser antilles and especially towards central america and parts of mexico as well and even in the vicinity of the bahamas it's been a bit active so a lot of moisture is around and right in this area is where that second disturbance is located in terms of rainfall forecast for the caribbean parts of uh, the Yucatan Peninsula will likely experience a lot of heavy rainfall, flood triggering rain. So if you're in sections of uh, the Yucatan, so the sections of Mexico go into Belize, uh, there will likely be a lot of rainfall in the area. So please stay safe and do not take any unnecessary risks. Heavy rain also likely in other parts of Central America, such as Guatemala, going to El Salvador and in sections of Northern South America as well. ABC Islands will remain in the clear. Much rain not expected at all. Through so the lesser Antilles, there could be a couple showers passing through and thunderstorms. We also have a tropical wave in the area, so that's going to be helping out to influence all that moisture. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, Jamaica, Cuba. There will likely be additional periods of heavy rain, especially into tomorrow afternoon. And a similar story for the northern and parts of the central Bahamas. Cayman Islands, much not expected, but there could definitely be some showers in the area. And now we're looking at this graphic here from the National Hurricane Center. So we can see both of our disturbances. There's 95L with that expected curve and that newest area marked in the Western Caribbean just offshore Belize. So that's going to be interacting a lot with the land and thus will have very limited time to get itself together. Because once it moves into the Bay of Campeche, that's a highlighted area, it won't have a lot of time in there to really get going but it is certainly going to be a rainmaker for the area as we saw so the main concern with that is the water due to the plethora of heavy rain expected but i'm not expecting much development out of the system as we can see currently 10 percent formation chance now talking a little bit more about our invest so we can see that it has a high 80 percent formation chance and there's been an increase in confidence with regards to that eventual curve expected, likely before the center of the system would make it to the Lesser Antilles, but that's just the center. If it is large and disorganized, it could influence the rainfall, especially for the Leeward Islands. So that area definitely needs to keep watch. So if you're in parts of the Northeast Caribbean, it is best to keep watch uh, for this system as it approaches even though it will likely stay offshore. And as I mentioned that, let's look at some model data. So first we've got the track guidance and we can see that a couple members, uh, models rather, still take the system into the Caribbean, but the majority want to keep it offshore generally, which would be the best case scenario. And the uh, time of approach, uh, the closest approach to the Caribbean will likely be uh, within the next four to five days or so. And in terms of intensity, all of our models are actually expecting that it will become a tropical storm, maybe by the next 24 to 36 hours. And eventually a hurricane will be possible. We have quite a few members expecting Cat 2 intensity or stronger. So we'll see what happens with it. But the water temperatures out there will definitely be supportive of sea and intensification. So that's what we have going on for this system, guys. Pretty likely we'll see a next name, be, uh, next name being crossed off the list of names for the Atlantic hurricane season of this year. And I will be keeping you posted as necessary. So that's it for today. And I do hope you found this update to be informative. But if you have any questions, 
feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll get to you when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.